Today I have some beautiful cards to share with you that feature a fun way to use your embossing folders with ink. It's a simple technique that takes embossing to a whole new level. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, you will learn how to use an ink embossing folder technique to create two different cards with some stunning effects. These card ideas can be used for Mother's Day or for any other occasion. Now the cards in this video feature the Tea Together stamp set from Stampin' Up! and a bit of stamping on some patterned paper as well. By the end of this video you will have two easy card making ideas for Mother's Day as well as some embossing folder techniques that you can use with any ink colors or embossing folders that you have on hand. For the latest card making ideas be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that little bell so you will be notified each time I upload a new video. So if you want to take your embossing to a whole new level give me a thumbs up and let's get started. Okay, so first let's talk about some of the supplies that you will need to create these cards. So you'll need some white and petal pink cardstock for the base of your cards and for the accent pieces. Now I am also using a piece of the Petal Promenade Designer Series paper. So I'm using this subtle pattern, which is in that petal pink, um, but it has some beautiful floral patterns on the back. We're not gonna be using those. Um, but it is a beautiful pack of paper if you are interested in that. So we're going to be using this to do some of the stamping um, for our teapot and um, for the teacup. You will also need an embossing folder, so choose one of your favorites. For this one, I am using the Lace Dynamic Textured Embossing Folder. So I recommend choosing an embossing folder that has a very detailed pattern in it for this particular technique. You will also need a stamp set. So for these cards, I am using the Tea Together stamp set from Stampin' Up. It has some beautiful images that are perfect for Mother's Day cards. Now we will also be doing a bit of coloring today. So I'm going to be using some Stampin' Blends. So I'm using Petal Pink and Old Olive. Of course, you will also need some ink. That's probably the most important part of this uh, embossing technique. So I am using Petal Pink to do the embossing technique with our ink today. And finally, I will be using a bit of vellum and some of the beautiful polka dot tool to do a little bit of embellishing on the cards. All right, I think that's it, let's get started. Okay, let's start by creating the beautiful ink embossed background for both of these cards. For this technique, you will need your favorite embossing folder and some ink. Now you can use this technique with or without an embossing machine, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I will demonstrate the stunning effects you can create with the use of an embossing machine. We will start by adding ink to the inside cover of the embossing folder. Now the cover typically has the company name or logo on it. So for example, this folder has the Sizzix and Stampin' Up! logo on it. So open up the ink pad and dab ink all over the inside cover of the embossing folder. Apply the ink to the embossing folder in the same way that you would apply it to a stamp. You don't want to press too hard when applying the ink because we only want to ink up the raised sections on the embossing folder. So once you have the cover completely inked up, lay the five and a quarter by four inch piece of white cardstock on the uninked area of the embossing folder. Press the embossing folder cover down onto the cardstock and then run it through your embossing machine. The embossing machine will press the ink into all the right places. And voila, we have a beautiful inked embossed design. Pretty cool, hey? I love the simplicity and the beauty of this technique. So now you might be wondering, well, how in the world do I get the ink off the embossing folder? Well, since we are using water-based ink, all you need to do is simply run some water over the inked embossing folder, then pat it dry with a towel. So did you know that you will get a completely different effect by adding ink to the back cover of the embossing folder? It's true. Let me show you how this works. So now we will apply ink to the bottom inside section of the embossing folder. So apply the ink to the back cover, or that bottom part of the embossing folder. So this is the opposite section from what we just used. Open up your ink pad and dab the ink all over the bottom inside cover of the embossing folder. 
Once you have finished inking the embossing folder, lay the five and a quarter by four inch piece of white cardstock on the uninked area of the embossing folder. Press the cover down onto the cardstock and run the embossing folder through your embossing machine. And voila, you now have a completely different ink embossed design. And it's just as beautiful as the other one. So two different inked designs with one embossing folder. Pretty cool, hey? Now this technique will work with just about any embossing folder. The more detailed the embossing folder, the better the technique will work. So drop me a comment below and let me know if you plan to try this technique. And if you know it, tell me the name of the embossing folder or the design that you plan to use for this technique. So now that we have our ink embossed backgrounds, let's get busy making some cards. So card number one. This first card features the ink embossed background created from inking up the top cover of the embossing folder. To create this card, start with a piece of petal pink cardstock cut at five and a half by eight and a half inches. Score the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches to create the base of the card. Next, adhere the ink embossed cardstock to the petal pink card front using a stronger adhesive like tear and tape. I recommend a stronger adhesive simply because of all the texture on the embossed piece of cardstock. Cut a two and an eighth by three and a half inch piece of vellum and adhere it to the center of the ink embossed cardstock. Stamp the teapot image from the Tea Together stamp set on a scrap piece of patterned paper using black ink. Cut out the image by hand or use the coordinating framelit set if you have it. Adhere the teapot to the vellum with a few dimensionals. Snip a few pieces of the polka dot tool and adhere it to the right side of the teapot. Stamp a greeting on a scrap piece of white cardstock using black ink. Cut out the greeting with a one and a quarter inch circle punch or with any punch shape that you have on hand. Adhere the greeting over the tool with a few dimensionals. This will help keep everything in place. Stamp the rose image on a scrap piece of white cardstock and color in the rose using the petal pink and old olive stamping blends or your favorite coloring tools. Cut out the rose image and adhere it to the right side of the card front so that it overlaps onto the greeting. And for the finishing touch, simply trim down the tool. So how simple and beautiful is this card? It was one of my favorite cards to make. I can't wait to give this one to my mom for Mother's Day. And uh, oh, by the way, she's not on YouTube, so she won't see this video. At least I don't think she'll see this video. Anyways, so don't forget to decorate the inside of your card as well. You can stamp a message or simply leave it blank so you can write one later. All right, card number two. The second card features the ink embossed background created from inking up the back cover of the embossing folder. To create this card, start with a piece of petal pink cardstock cut at five and a half by eight and a half inches. Score the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches to create the base of your card. Next, adhere the ink embossed cardstock to the petal pink card front using a strong adhesive like tear and tape. Cut another two and an eighth by three and a half inch piece of vellum and adhere that to the center of the ink embossed cardstock. Stamp the teacup image from the Tea Together stamp set on a scrap piece of the patterned paper using black ink. Cut out the image by hand or use the coordinating framelit set if you have it. Adhere the teacup to the vellum with a few dimensionals. Now snip a few pieces of the polka dot tool and adhere it to the right side of the teacup. Stamp two rose images on a scrap piece of white cardstock. Color in the rows using the petal pink and old olive stamping blends or your favorite coloring tools. Now cut out the rose images. Adhere one rose to the right side of the card front so that it overlaps on the tool. Trim down the tool to the desired length. Stamp a greeting on a scrap piece of white cardstock using black ink. Cut out the greeting with a one and a quarter inch circle punch or with any punch shape that you have on hand. Adhere the other rose image along with the greeting onto the left side of your card front. Be sure to tuck it behind the little teacup for a nice effect. And that's it. Another beautiful card idea that is sure to wow your family or your friends. And don't forget to decorate the inside of your card. Now you have two easy card making ideas for Mother's Day, as well as some embossing folder techniques that you can use with any ink colors or embossing folders that you have on hand. 
just get creative with it. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have fun getting creative, take care, and I'll see you soon.